Hello everybody, I hope that you're keeping well and enjoying your online learning. Do remember to keep taking photos of your work and sending it to the Year Group email as we'd love to see what you've been doing. Today we're going to start the second part of our reading activity. You will need the text we're going to read today, which is the same as the text from Activity 1, a pencil and your workbook. The text will be displayed on the screen, but if you would rather have it in front of you, you can find it on the Grange website under Online Learning and in Year 1, and it's the Phase 3 text. Pause the video now while you get your resources ready. Find the next clean page in your book and write today's date. It's Tuesday the 28th of April 2020. Leave a line and then write the learning intention to answer questions using the text. Pause the video while you do this. Here is the success criteria. You don't have to write it down. This just helps you with the steps that you need to be successful. I can read the questions. I can read the text and find the answers to the questions. I can use full sentences to write my answers. This is a comprehension activity where you show what you understand by reading the text and finding the answer to the question. You are going to be the reading detective to find the answers to the questions. We're going to answer questions using the text from the first reading activity. You need to read the question carefully so you know what you're looking for and then read the text carefully and find the answer within the text. I'm going to go through an example question with you to show you how you would read the question and find the answer within the text. The first example question is, which animals did the farmer have? I need to read the text to find out which animals the farmer had. On a farm near the coast, a farmer kept animals. He had dogs, cats, sheep, goats and hens. Think about the part that I just read. Which animals did the farmer have? Pause the video and tell your adult. The answer is he had dogs, cats, sheep, goats and hens. I've underlined the answer that I found. Now I need to write my answer under my question. I need to use a full sentence to write my answer and I need to remember to use a capital letter and a full stop. The answer I have written is he had dogs, cats, sheep, goats and hens. I've used a full sentence, I've got a capital letter and a full stop at the end of my sentence. Now it's your turn to have a go. Write the first question in your book. Pause the video while you write this question. Well done. Now read the text carefully to find the answer to the question. Then write the answer under the question using a full sentence. Pause the video now while you do this. Well done. Here's question two. Write the question in your book. Pause the video now. Use the text to find the answer and write it in your book. Pause the video while you do this. Well done. Question three. Copy the question and pause the video. Use the text to find the answer and write it in your book. Pause the video while you do this. Well done. This is question four and the final question. Copy the question into your book. Pause the video. Use the text to find the answer and write it in your book. Pause the video while you do this. Fantastic. Now we can go through the answers together. Question one. What happened in the winter? The answer is, in the winter, a red hen laid an egg. Question two was, what was in the egg? The answer is, in the egg was a soft chick. Question number three was, what did Chuck have for dinner? The answer is, for his dinner, Chuck had seeds and nuts. Question four was, what did Chuck's mum have to check? The answer was, his mum had to check he did not munch too much. Well done, you tried hard to find your answers today. 
Remember, you should try and read every day and you can use what you've learnt from both of these reading activities to help you. Do remember to email us on your year group email to share your fantastic work.